Hello and welcome to the 6th Exo Colony devlog. My name is Pascal and today I'm going to show you how I added a snow biome to the game and tell you something about the creative challenges I had to overcome. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please consider to subscribe, hit the like button and drop me a comment. This helps me a lot and keeps the motivation up. Now, let's jump right into the devlog. Before I started to work on the snow biome, I had one kind of important refactoring task on my Trello board that I wanted to tackle first. If you remember the last devlog, I showed you how the power system consists of a power system controller and a set of different power entities. Now I wanted to add the same kind of logic to the conveyor belt. At the moment a conveyor belt is just a linked list with every conveyor tile knowing its direct neighbors. But to make it compatible with the power system, there had to be some kind of conveyor belt system controller. So I abstracted the logic of the power system into a multiple grid entity structure class and then made a conveyable system class that inherits it. After that was finished, I still had a problem. The conveyable tiles had a bug that I never fixed. In some special situations, two conveyable tiles would not connect and just ignore each other. So I went back into the conveyable connection code and had quite some trouble fixing the bug I planted there three months ago. So to tell you my game of pro tip of the week, always try to fix a bug when you see it and refactor often and consistently. Anyways, in the end I was able to figure it out and the conveyable connections did not break anymore. Awesome! In the previous devlog, I introduced my idea to let the lovely people on my Discord server vote for one feature that I will implement in the upcoming devlog. After the Wood Factory won the last vote, I decided to keep the three options that did not win the competition and just add one new minor feature, Bridges. And the winner of this devlog's Discord feature vote is... The Snow Biome! What a surprise! By the way, if you want to vote on future features I should add to the game, feel free to join my Discord server, link is in the description. So after I knew what I had to work on, I jumped right into Icebride and started pixeling. At first I had some trouble to figure out how the snow floor should look like. It took me a bit of time to figure out that I prefer plain white snow with some kind of holes as a texture. After I was satisfied with the floor, I felt the urgent need to pixel a snowman. Around the time of developing it was snowing in my area of living and I saw a lot of cute snowmen in the park, so this might be the reason why I thought that this was an important task to tackle. When I was happy with these three types of snowman variations, I started to put snow on all the environment assets that I wanted to be a part of the winter slash snow biome. After the first mockup was somewhat ready, I still felt that there was something missing. There should be at least one resource that is unique to this biome or else it would just be a reskin of the already existing biomes. But then I had a galaxy brain moment and thought that ice would fit very well into a snow setting. I started to research for ice pixel art references because I didn't have that much experience with pixeling ice thingies. As always, I stumbled over an animated pixel art tutorial by Petro Maderos. For anyone else out there who wants to improve their pixel art skills, I highly recommend to check out his pixel art tutorials. They are amazing and cover almost every aspect of the pixel art lifestyle. Link is in the description. After I felt somewhat prepared, I started to pixel a basic ice block resource that the player would have to destroy to get an ice item, which I then also pixeled in ice bright. Now it was time to put everything together in Unity. I created a new wool tile for the snow floor and then started to paint a new area in my prototype scene. I also added a new functionality to my grid system. Every tile now knows its own biome, as you can see in the bottom right of my debug view tiles. This should be handy in the future, for example when I want to add different visual or sound effects for different biomes and the game needs to know on what biome tile the player is at the moment. Now I put together the trees, the stones and the ice blocks and then added everything to the scene. I was somewhat happy with the first result, but I did not like the look of the water because the brown edges broke the illusion of a winter world for me. So I jumped back into Ice Bride and started pixeling water with a coast that is covered in ice. Another wool tile had to be made and then I was able to replace the old water with the new water. Looks way better in my opinion. Now everything looked okay, but I still felt the urge to change something. I was quite in love with the snowman's, which would work as a normal resource in the current state of the game. But then I thought, wouldn't it be much cooler if I made the snowman my second exocolony alien animal? The answer was yes, of course it would be much cooler. So for a final time I went back into a sprite and started animating the basic version of the snowman. Turned out that this was actually quite easy and I was soon ready to put everything together in Unity. And here we go. Aren't they cute little alien snowmans? When you pet them enough they drop snowballs. 
So we also have a second unique item that the player can now only find in the snow slash winter area of the game. Only thing that I was not able to get right was to decide what kind of sound a snowman should make. If you have any ideas, please drop me a comment. And that's already it for today's devlog. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, drop me a comment and feel free to join the Discord server. I'll see you soon in the next devlog. Until then, bye!